Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is a, um, another video where we talk about security this week. And this one is to answer a few questions I get regularly from viewers. Is Windows 10 a secure operating system? And of course that is something that is interesting because almost everybody has it wrong. Almost everybody thinks Windows is easy to hack. Everybody thinks that um, you know you need the best antivirus possible because you'll get you know some malware and everybody just got it wrong because that's not at all the case. Actually Windows is a very secure operating system. It's uh, quite amazing. But the problem is all the information we get about you know oh well you know there's all these viruses everywhere and my friends got bit by viruses and uh, there are two things in there. First of all, of course, being the most used operating system for computers, it also will have more chances of being hit by malware. Not because it, because it is unsecure, simply because it's the most used operating system. Now, the other thing, which is also, uh, there's a, a myth side to all of this. When I was a tech guy, one of the things that I noticed is that 90% of the time when somebody says, well, you know, my Windows isn't working right and think I got a virus, well, 90, more than 90% of the time has nothing to do with viruses. There were no viruses. It had something to do with something else, a bad driver, uh, some software that, you know, people have installed and was incompatible in some way, or all sorts of other little things that can happen when you actually use a PC. And it's interesting because almost everybody jumps to the conclusion, well, I got a virus because my computer doesn't work well. And like I said, most of the time, it's not the case at all. The actual real cases of viruses, and this is where I'm going, actually, 98% of the time, let's say, the person did something bad. So basically, the number one security is you. That means your Windows 10 operating system will be as secure as you are with your PC. It has nothing to do with the antivirus. I don't, well, say it once again, I don't care what antivirus you use. Windows Defender is more than enough. Anybody that says, well, you know, I don't like Defender, or apparently it's no good, it's, I don't care. It, it's not where the protection is. You are the protection of your PC. And everybody wants you to use their own antivirus, and everybody wants to push you towards something. I don't care. I don't even want to know what you're using as an antivirus, because it has very little to do with your security, honestly. Antiviruses are less and less effective against the new generations of malware coming. And the only way to stay safe is what you do. So Windows 10 is technically more... Um, secure than Windows 7. This said, one of the things you got to understand with that is that in the past months when you look at security patches and security updates, a lot of the patches, a lot of the problems that affected Windows 7 did affect Windows 10 also. But yes, there were some security flaws that affected Windows 7 and did not affect Windows 10. So really, Windows is a very, very secure operating system. Windows 10 is very, very solid and very secure in its uh, way of working. And the security comes to one major factor, what you do. And what I mean by that, almost everybody that had malware when I was a tech guy did something bad. And we're going to have a series of how to avoid the different traps that are plaguing or trying to lure you into clicking into something in uh, 2019. What are the biggest uh, problems? What is trying to have you infect your machine? And you'll see that you're the security uh, for the most part. So yes, Windows 10 is a very secure operating system, but you are the number one problem for security meaning that what you do 
is how it's going to decide if you're secure or not on your PC. And of course, as a tech guy, I can tell you there's tons of people that just are very careful, never got a virus. And almost everybody that had viruses in Windows actually did something they shouldn't have done. They clicked on some file that they shouldn't have done. They actually got lured into a phishing attempt or all sorts of different things or downloading illegal software and movies and, you know, all of that is 99% of what people, uh, why people got infected in Windows, honestly. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.